Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a Some Assemblage Required video that I'm combining with Series 11 of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches and Make It a Mini Monday. Our sketch for today is provided by the lovely Jackie Malzahn. All of the sketches this month are exclusives for 30 Days of Sketches, so you won't find them anywhere else. And I am combining this with Make It a Mini Monday, which I do with MK over on her channel, uh, where we are working in a smaller format than a 12 by 12. Today I am working in a 6 by 12, and that, and I'm working horizontally. So I'm kind of taking the center of that sketch, not even really the center. I'm kind of shifting things around. Um, that ripped paper that she's got right down the center, I'm keeping that at the bottom of my layout. And I'm not using a circular photo, I'm using a, a rectangle, but I am going to rip my papers around it. Um, it looks like she has some torn paper around it and maybe a little bit of mixed media. I didn't do any mixed media. I happened to be on a trip when I did this layout and I didn't bring any mixed media with me. So, um, you know, sketches are really a jumping off point and just to get you started, you can follow them as much as you like or uh, just um, take inspiration from them. So today I am following it, but I am leaving out any mixed media that might have been in, intended on the sketch. But, um, you know, a lot of it really, I think you can see the sketch when, when you're all done, when I'm all done with the layout. So I am uh, taking some scrap papers out of this kit that I have had sitting in my scrapbook room for um, a few years. It's kind of my grab and go kit that I take if we go on short trips and um, we haven't been doing short trips, so it hasn't been worked on in quite some time, but I'm trying to get this done, this, this particular album done and if you've been watching my channel you might know about it it's uh, a school trip that we did to Santa Cruz Island for the Jason project and that is um, it's an educational program in case you're familiar with that um, anyway this is my daughter circa 2006 so uh, she's 11 in the photo um, she is all grown up now with her own child so yeah, old photos. Um, but, you know, this was a big trip for us. And uh, it was really kind of special because we got special permission to go out there because my uncle lives out there. And we took um, 20 people with us or 19 people with us. 11 of them were children that are um, from our homeschool group. And then the other, the rest of them were their parents. <laughs> anyway, so... I am using some stuff from the Some Assemblage Required Monthly Embellishment Box. These green tickets came in it, as well as these flowers. And I really like the way that these look together. So I'm going to go ahead and use them um, to kind of layer things up. I'm also going to be using some um, of the chipboard that came in there in the box. And you're going to see that in just a moment. The label, the tickets are from 49 and market. You do get a uh, smaller sampling, so you don't get as many, which is kind of nice because they do come with a lot. And uh, then she has some items from Dusty Attic, which is this chipboard. And I really like these leaves um, or foliage, whatever you want to call them. And so they're going to be just peeking out from behind these flowers. And I really like the softness of the flowers. So I thought those would be perfect, uh, which it also resembles the flowers that are on the sketch. So I thought this was a great way to do this layout. Um, I am going to have I don't know, maybe six of those flowers left over. So I will use them elsewhere in my album. So it doesn't look like um, so it looks like they belong in the album and they're not just used on one page. There is a little bit of repetition here and there in the album on different pages. So you see things and uh, over and over and it looks like they belong. <laughs> I'm having a hard time spitting all that out, you guys. Um, I am inking everything up with some black soot distressing just to give a little bit of um, variation and definition and uh, to make them pop off the page and provide a little more depth. I'm just playing around with the flowers because they are slightly different leaves and there are a couple that are smaller than the others. So I'm just figuring out where I want them. Um, then also seeing if I want any additional items on the layout. And I opted not to add any other stickers or anything. I'm just going to use these tickets 
the leaves and the flowers so pretty much everything is out of the embellishment box from some assemblage required um, other than the papers and I really like how this comes together it comes together really quickly and it looks really nice when it's done it's very simple um, but really pretty at the end uh, at the end of the day so um, you I could have opted to ink up those leaves but I decided not to I wanted to leave them natural I've got a lot of natural stuff in this album already including some like burlapy twine type stuff um, and some other fibers that are really natural looking my wood is all natural in here there's nothing that's I think there's like two pieces that came with like a navy blue paint on them but the rest of them are all pretty much natural and so I really like the way that looks because um, all of the photos from this island are all have a lot of nature in them and we're out exploring and stuff like that so I think that the keeping everything natural just makes it look really nice. I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue, uh, my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, to adhere everything down, uh, make it all stay where it's supposed to be. Um, these little leaves are super delicate, and I'm, I'm going to be real honest, a couple of them just broke right off. But the neat thing is, uh, you can just, there's one right there in my hand, you can just stick them right back on, and nobody will ever know the difference. Um, they were a little bit difficult to get out of the... Uh, outside that they come with like they come laser cut but they come still in their cardboard so that they don't get damaged but getting them out was a little difficult because they are so delicate but they look really cool so um, if you happen to get the embellishment box and you tear one of yours just remember you can always glue it back on nobody's ever going to know that it, it was it tore off or anything like that so I'm going to have four little flowers in the bottom and two at the top, which is a little bit contrary to what I would normally do. I normally work in odd numbers, but uh, I'm, you know, I'm going with even numbers today and I like the way it looks <laughs> kind of weird, but um, I like the way that the leaves peek out here and they're, they're not all the same. They are different. I think there's a set of two for each one, each pattern pattern um each style not pattern <laughs> each style there's i think two and you can see them there as they sit on my desk oh actually maybe there's four no i think there's i think there's two but anyway um i just like how delicate they are they're really soft and it makes the layout really pretty and uh i thought this was perfect because all of these trees in the background with the the um nature right on top just kind of finished it off nicely now i'm just looking for another darker um, ticket here these tickets come in all different sizes and uh, I really like that because you can kind of leave them a little bigger if you want to but um, they break down into smaller tiny bits and that brought a little bit of that darker color up to the top of my photo and I think that looked really nice and I really like the lighter green on top of the darker um, tree paper as well so that is it you guys thanks so much for watching if you have questions or oh there's the full page you guys it's, it is a 12 by 12 but it's got a 6 by 12 in the middle and the four there's four photos at the top and at the bottom just to finish everything off thank you so much for watching if you have questions or comments you can leave those down below and i will get back to you as quickly as i can and I appreciate you guys taking time to watch today. If you don't mind hitting that thumbs up, if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye-bye.